Yeah, hi there. These comments are for uh, Matt. I'll just use your, your initials for your last name, S. And uh, you're completing what's called the free TOEFL speaking practice test evaluation. You're answering uh, independent speaking task number one. What is better when preparing for an exam, studying alone or studying with a group? I'm going to listen to your response without saying anything the first time, then the second time I will provide some comments as they relate to delivery, language use, and topic development. So for you, get out some paper, get prepared, get prepared to take some notes. Let's see how you do. Uh, I'll even give you a score on a scale of 0 to 4, 0 to 30 points. You also get a score so you can kind of see where you are with your speaking right now. All right, good luck. So I think studying in a group is better if and only if um, you have already reviewed your notes and um, uh, related materials by yourself first. Once you've reviewed these uh, informations by yourself and have fam familiarized with yourself with the information, uh, I think then the best bet is to move on to group studying because group studying will help you fill in these like, last minute little details that you weren't able to get on your own. So group studying is best to um, get all the fine details that you miss when studying by yourself, but studying by yourself is something that will help you cover a majority of the information. Okay, Matt. Wow, you have some good delivery, my friend. I'm gonna say that you talk almost like a native speaker. You are a native speaker. Uh, my first, my first uh, impression right now is you're definitely above three. I'm going to put you at 24 to 26 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. So let's find out why. Let's go back to the beginning. So I think studying in a group is better if and only if um, you have already reviewed. There. So if I have already reviewed or if the student has already reviewed. So you're shifting into the second person point of view, Matt. And that's a little bit informal. Probably not the best uh, language use choice for these TOEFL independent speaking tasks. So I would use either the I or the third person he, she, or it point of view. Read your notes and um, uh, related materials by yourself first. Once you've reviewed these uh, informations by I would say once the student has reviewed or once I review. Myself and I feel familiarized with yourself with the information. Uh, I think then the best bet is to move on to group study. The best bet, that, that is a native speaker. That. Non-native speakers are not going to know how to say that, so you're demonstrating that you have very natural sounding grammar and vocabulary. That's a very strong, that's a big strong point with what you just said. Because group studying will help you fill in these like, last minute little details that you weren't able to get on your own. So group studying is best to um, get all the fine details that you miss when studying by yourself, but studying by yourself okay. is something that will help you cover a majority of the information. Perfect. Now what you didn't do, Matt, is give an example. You did not give a specific example to help show why studying in a group is helpful. You see what I'm saying? So you could be a little more specific in the personal example that you use to help illustrate your point. So what can we say here? Uh, we can say that you have very strong delivery. You speak very clearly, very naturally. You have very good intonation. You don't have really any major pauses and hesitations. You are comfortable, Matt, speaking English. You really are. Uh, language use, be careful of shifting into that second person point of view. I would not recommend that. Uh, topic development, I think overall you had a good response. I think you probably could have done a little bit better job with the personal or more specific examples to illustrate your points. Uh, your score will be, will be strong. I'm going to put you at 24 to 26 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. Now, 
in case. I'm not saying that you want to, but if, if you want to join my speaking course, probably you don't need it. But if you do want to join my course, I'll send you a PayPal invoice uh, for that course. I'll even offer you a $30 discount on that TOEFL speaking boot camp course. All right, and thank you for doing this uh, practice test.